she mention me at all? Uh, back. Sweetie girl, I wasn't expecting you until later. How are you feeling? I, I'm, I'm glad to be out of the hospital. What are you doing here? Oh, do you remember Scott Baldwin? Well, actually, we were uh, catching up earlier. How are you? Out! <sighs> it's perfectly acceptable for Scotty to ask a question about Laura. He was married to her once, almost twice. He was an important part of her life. He's a worm. You're not even married to Laura anymore. You're Mr. Tracy Quartermain. But... Okay. It was nice seeing you, Leslie. Lulu. She looks just like her mother, huh? Out! So, you guys like each other, right? I want you to stay away from him, Lulu. I want you to sit down on that couch, put your leg up, be comfortable. I'm going to get you a mackerel and some blankets. No, no, I'm fine, I'm fine. You have a leg full of stitches, and you need rest. You're in good hands here. What's he doing? It's a rough time. You might want to stay over here for a while. But if Baldwin shows up again, slam the door in his what face. What is... Tell me, what is so bad about him? Look, one day we'll sit down and I'll, I'll tell you everything. We'll have a nice long talk about it. For now, all you need to know is... He's dangerous. He's like a cobra. Uh, that is exactly what Tracy said. He's a cobra eyeing a nest of eggs. Right. And you're a fresh plate of caviar, baby. So you stay away from him. Don't believe anything he says. He's poison. Thank you for bringing me cookies. Yeah. <laughs> Cook, uh, Cook bakes a lot when she's... She's upset. And people keep sending food to the house, which I don't understand. Why do people do that when somebody dies? You know? Um, is it pretty bad over there? Yeah, my mom's kind of in her own world right now. She's not handling it great. Yeah, my dad wants me to stay here for a while. That's a good idea. So, what do you know about Scott Baldwin? Scott? Uh, not a lot. I mean... It's kind of suspicious how it just showed up. And he has a thing for your mom. Yeah, and uh, I'm thinking he knows who killed Rick Weber. He knew my mom before my dad even did. He helped cover things up when my mom accidentally killed that nurse in, in the attic, and now he shows up again? Yeah. Well, I, Scott took a big risk even coming back to poor Charles. He left in total disgrace. What does your dad think? Oh, my, my dad hates him. I can't even go there. And if it turns out that Scott somehow let my mom take the blame for the murder... Talking like postal. Yeah. Right? So, for now, we're not going to tell my dad anything. 